I've just stepped outside to show you. It's still very cold here, dreary. There has been snow flakes all throughout the day. I am not yet able to get outside at all to do any prep work on my beds or anything. It's still too, too cold. So it's an indoor day again, but pleasant. So let's go in. I'll show you what I'm up to. Hello. I just got in from the local hardware store and uh, treated myself to some tiki torches. Totally not in character with myself. I never treat myself. But we're itching to get outside. Spring is on the way here. I think next week, uh, by Saturday, I think we might even have a double digit temperature day, 10 degrees. It's snowing outside right now, but I'm not letting that stop me from getting excited to get going. So I picked up some tiki torches. Never bought any before, but I thought for our fire pit, because once the weather does warm up just a bit more where it's not snowing, we love to get outside by around the fire pit. Just enjoy some fresh air. You need to get out for fresh air. So I thought these were great. I bought the oil for it. One of them was even on sale. Um, I think they'll look great outside. So we'll get on with just cleaning those up. And I also uh, made a, a, my main reason I went was to get my green onions or scallions. I did this for the first time last year from bulbs. I do all my, um, other onions from bulbs, but the first time I did the, the green onions or scallions, and I they're fantastic. So I don't know how many is in the bag. They talk in grams, so 250 grams. I got two this year, and you just plunk them. They, you know, they don't take up any room in your garden. You stick them everywhere, and they were beautiful big onions. And you can even store them. I ended up using them because we like little onions and different things. Maybe I have, you know, a, a French beef stew. Uh, I love the little onions in those too. So I did dry some, but um, for the most part, I've used them all up. But for the most part, it's just so easy. And what did I pay for these? $3.99. So I don't know how many is in there, but boy, they're worth the money for me because they're so easy. Now I do have some that I've still got going here. I stuck some in a pot. Um, these are again, green onions or scallions. And I can stick those out fairly early as I do with those onions also. Just waiting for that warm weather. I also got myself a dahlia because I need to really up my flower game this year. Uh, each year I buy, we've always done it actually our whole life, we'll buy a plant each year our last house was just absolutely made a gorgeous backyard. And I've been focusing on food here out of necessity. But now it's time that I can do a bit more flowers. So each year I treat myself to something that's a flower also. So I'll get cleaning these up and I'll come right back to you. It's really snowing outside right now. Whoa! Spring is on the way. Spring is on the way. One thing I keep doing is uh, these are fresh new plants and uh, I want them to bulk out so I just keep trimming and using my flat Italian leaf parsley. The other thing I'm going to do, because spring is on the way, I have to clear my windowsills of sort of my fun plants that I grow over the winter uh, to make room for the necessary outdoor summer plants. So I'm just going to cut these out, I'll soak them in some water to freshen them up a bit and uh, yeah, just making room on my windowsills. This is just a, a giant red kale. Grew lovely for me, but he's got to go. I will recycle the soil in there. And this, well, he needs water, but this is a giant kale. I can't remember the name right now. And um, I've been picking from it. Like you can see all up, so the name is the uh, giant mustard. I throw it in anytime I'm cooking and I need some greens. I throw them in. But I'm going to take this plant, the fun is done, and clear for my window. So I will get the beans, but I'm still using the beans. There's a lot on there right now. So say I'm making a soup and I just want to throw in a few beans. Uh, maybe I just get four at a time. I just chop them up, goes in, it's just extra. So I will soak these and plump them up before I put them in the fridge till I get to cook those. The other thing, I... Uh, uh, was it yesterday? 
as I did before, I'll put some footage in of, of it because I video of me cooking. We got a harvest from my spray and grow mushroom kit. And I've taped the other side, flipped it over, and now I'm going to, uh, I'm working on the this side to get me another harvest. So yes, they're expensive, but I'm going to make this one work for me. So once this harvest comes out and the snow goes and we get to that workable soil outside, I will then break this block down and just crumble it out into some mulch and possibly some wood maybe on top because there's a whole lot of life left in these blocks, I understand. This is the first time I'm going to try it. And try to get myself a perennial little harvest. Uh, a perennial mushroom patch outside. So that's cool. Oh, and here's my gourd. I, Bruce just cut this out for me. It's a little deep because there was a crack in it. There's my little birdhouse. Don't know where I'm going to put that, but I'm still excited about that. Just let these freshen up in here before I put them in my crisper. We'll perk right up in a minute. Also took the last of my lettuce from my windowsill and here's my mushrooms slowly growing just a, a little timeline of them. Um, they did beautiful and boy are they delicious. Here you can see that they're almost, uh, it gets to a point where you can't really water them well, so they dry out super fast. You have to keep your eye on them. But they were so tasty. Really, really enjoyed them. I just uh, actually, after separating them, the stems of these, uh, I'm trying to think what they're called, chestnut mushrooms. The stems are lovely and chewy and used fully in the cooking. You keep the stems. So I sauteed them. Very simply, the butter, olive oil, garlic, and rosemary. And we'll be doing it again. It's really lovely. Now this time of year is also a very important time to keep watch uh, for the temperatures. Because I grow globe artichokes, these are also a bit behind. I've had much larger plants to put out in the past. It is what it is. But I have to, uh, because I'm not in Mediterranean or, or a warm zone from you know, they love 9 to 11 really, uh, I have to fool these into thinking that they've gone through a warm winter, which would be 4 degrees to 10 degrees. And that's what I'm looking for on my uh, weather channel. Now next week, starting Saturday, four days are going to be like that, but then it's going down to the 1 and 0 degrees. So. I don't know what to do with these poor things. I'm not going to put them out next week because I just don't think we're quite there. But I, I, they have to go through what they think is a winter. So I also have to really, really be careful that we don't get to just suddenly warm temperatures, which can happen here, and then they won't produce their the, the artichoke for me, the globe artichoke. Uh, because they're a biannual, so they need to think that they're in year two, and that's what I do. So I'm looking for the four to ten. So fingers crossed I get these correct, but um, that's something that at this time of year, in order for them to produce for me, and we love to eat them, I have to make sure I get them out at the perfect time. Now the other things I have to get up to is uh, potting on. Uh, those are my tomatoes and peppers. They're at various stages. I've been, um, these are all for my outdoors. So I've got some obviously that need to move here. That's my big tie. Ring of Fire, Fat and Sassy. Uh, some of these are still okay. I just move them on as they get leggy and bigger. Here's some jalapenos, some Fat and Sassy peppers. I have some Red Robin tomatoes that could probably move on also. I have no idea what this tomato is. Didn't label it. But uh, I won't bore you with that. I'll get on with those. This time last year and the year before I checked my records, I was already putting out my peas and broad beans. It's not looking like that right now. The snow is uh, uh, almost over, but we're still getting days of it. And the, the, certainly the soil is not workable at all. So for now, it's just ordinary, pleasant indoor days, waiting for spring. It's coming really soon. I know many of you are already well ahead of me. 
I see it in your videos and that's wonderful. It inspires me to keep going. I get sad about the lack of weather, but it'll come soon. So that's all for now. Thank you so much. Take care and we'll see you soon.